She got mad. Hello. I'm short. Yeah. I'm actually the tall one in my family, which is sad. <laughs> so hello, I'm Morgan Hardage. And I figured I would talk a little bit about the joys and terrors and hilarity that ensues when you come in a large family. Um, I am the youngest of seven, just to give you a little bit of background. And we're a combined family. So we all kind of come in pairs. The people that actually can do math are now going, seven. <laughs> yes. Uh, we tend to not include Ilya, who is the eldest and eight years older than the other eldest. Mm. He's a little bit more real than Santa Claus because we have actual photographic evidence that he exists. So that was nice. Um, I met him when I was 10, but he's a pretty swell guy. Um, but yeah, so we have, you know, Ilya, Jenny, Zach, Julie, Logan, Austin, and me. I can't do that that fast in any other order at all. But coming in pairs, you know, we have the boys, Zach and Logan, and Ilya. And we have the girls, Jenny and Julie. And then we have myself and my brother, Austin. You know, boy and a girl, it's kind of like the Brady Bunch. Funny how that works out that way. We don't get a theme song, though. I know. I know. Super sad. We could totally make one up. Actually, instead of a theme song, we uh, ended up making up a family code because we just like the intellectual things, but of course now other people are going, I'm sorry, why do you have all numbers on your t-shirts? This, this is just a sad, sad way of recognizing yourself to the world. Yeah, I am 3227. <laughs> I know, I know. Uh, actually, it's the niftiest thing in the world because uh, dad has three marriages. They're, my parents are currently together. Mom has two. And then we have first and second borns. So, of course, the third number is which order, you know, first or second born you are. And then the last number is the order overall. So I am 3227. I'm from my father's third marriage, my mother's second marriage. I'm the second child within that marriage and the seventh child overall. Now, let's assume for a moment that I get married. Okay, he doesn't actually get his own number uh, in, from his building a family because he is one of five and that would just make its own little complications in his combined family. So he gets the number 0.1. His number is 3227.1. Now, if we have children, of course, they are dash A, B, C, D, continuing on. <laughs> so we actually have our first dash C, which is super exciting. Uh, little baby Maeve, Maeve Margaret. They are very, 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 so very Irish. They're from Boston. <laughs> yeah, so we have Declan and Kieran and Maeve from Logan's family over there. He is, of course, number, uh, excuse me, 2024. <laughs> See how that works out. So his wife is 2024.1. Pretty straightforward. So. One of the joys <laughs> that, comes, that comes with being the youngest in a family this big is because we have a 20 year spread. My oldest brother, Ilya, who like I said is a very swell, swell guy, is old enough to actually be my father, which is a little awkward when we go out for birthdays or something and the waitress comes to bring the check and she goes, <laughs> I'm gonna give that to you. <laughs> Yeah. Then we get to fight over who gets to pay for it because in my family, you know, we want to take care of our family. We're all really, you know, close, sometimes too close in the I'm now elbowing you in the face kind of way, but for the most part we get along. So I really love that. I love that I can be so close to my family. Um, the problem is, being the youngest, I got to watch, well, not so much a problem, but I got to watch them all make the mistakes that I was not going to make. <laughs> Yeah, that's worked out real well. <laughs> but, you know, I didn't have boyfriends sneaking in my window. That was nice. Of course, I didn't have boyfriends. Uh, I also did not decide to, let's say, sneak out and go see movies at 2 o'clock in the morning with my buddies. You know, that was always great. I got the room that you could most easily sneak out of, and my sister Julie pointed this out to me once, and I explained to her that all of my friends were 30, and if I wanted to leave the house Mom actually understood that I was the good kid, so I could just leave. <laughs> she didn't take too kindly to that one. But she is the middle squared, so she's a little bit psychotic in that regard, but in the best of ways. I love her. But if you really look at it, she's very analytical, and she says that she's not anal retentive, but then she looks at you and goes, hey, what are you doing Tuesday, March 24th of uh, 2027? 
don't even know if the world is going to exist in 2027. Why would I know? Is that a Tuesday? How do you know that that's a Tuesday? Well, I was planning on maybe going and getting my hair done. What are you? So the hilarity ensues, like I said. So I've decided to kind of assign a couple of archetypes to some of my siblings to help me better understand them, you know. Seems like a straightforward, normal kid thing to do. So you take, for instance, my eldest brother. Well, he's very, you know, paternal when he's around. You know, he's, again, like I said, much older than everybody else. He moved on with his world. And so he likes to, you know, take care of people. So you call him and say, hey, you know, I started doing this and I'm working on this. And he goes, hey, that is super cool. Go you. You're like, yeah, instant gratification. And then, you know, you go to my, my next sibling, Jenny, and she's very maternal, you know, so that's very cool. She likes to cook. She's a fantastic chef. I love that about her. Uh, you know, so, so you really get these archetypes going on. Now, the best archetype of all, of course, ex you know, excluding the asshole, which we won't go into because that's his own special category, is the weirdo. And in my family, this is so coveted for some reason. <laughs> because we're all so dang weird, I guess. But I really have to say, my brother Zach has to take the cake, because I mean, yeah, I work at a Renaissance fair, and you know, all of my friends are at least two decades older than me, and my favorite hobby is, you know, sword fighting, and <laughs> that's not that weird. I mean, come on. Yeah, but Zach wins because of the number of family stories we have about him. So, I've got a fair share, but he has so many that we actually argue on the endings. <laughs> yeah, so this one, this is one of the few that I'm gonna tell tonight. Um, he decided to take a train, but not in the normal way. See, he jumped on while he was going to school because it slowed down and it goes by the school. So, I mean, you know, why not? It's, you know, you could just jump off when he gets there. I will see you guys later, he says to his buddies as he jumps out and jumps on this train. And what he failed to realize was that while it's going through town, it's going at a much slower speed than when it's not in town. <laughs> so by the time it's passing by the school, it's now at least at 40 <laughs> and picking up. And those are rocks. <laughs> and that's a sheer drop into nothingness. <laughs> so when it stopped in Oklahoma, <laughs> I know. He managed, he managed to jump off at the changing station. He's walking back and all he can do is follow the track. So he's trudging through town. Good thing he left for school so early. I mean, <laughs> life has its bonuses, right? So he's walking back and every payphone he comes to, of course, he's calling home, trying to get a ride. Well, the problem was my mother teaches music or taught music out of our house. So she didn't take calls because she was teaching. Understandable. So on the rare occasion that he managed to call just at the right time when her classes were changing over, well, he was calling collect. No, I don't know anybody who'd be calling me. No, I'm not gonna pay for these calls. <laughs> so he's working his way back and it's now eight, nine o'clock at night and my parents are suddenly going, why? <laughs> why do we have to lose children? Better yet, why do we have to find them again? We have so many, can we let this one go? No. So this is where the story really differs and the three best endings are either, because again, nobody believes his side of it. Either he got picked up by a police officer who saw this kid trudging down, what are you doing? Or he got picked up by a friendly strange man in a truck who, what are you doing? <laughs> or he got picked up by a friendly strange police officer off duty in a truck. Mm, the choice is yours. But yeah, so he ends up bringing him home and he knocks on the doors. Is this yours? Mm, yes, thank you. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that's the story of Zachary and the train. <laughs> I mentioned that my mother was a teacher, and just to kind of give you, you know, a sort of final understanding of one of the fun things about my family, uh, we are all teachers, all of us. And the reason that you should worry about this is because my family, including Zach, is full of people who are influencing young minds. 
<laughs> we all teach in some capacity, whether it's just training at a job or actually, you know, like my father teaching English for several years and then, you know, changing schools and they don't need an English teacher. Can you teach robotics and computer aided drawing and architecture? Yeah, sure, no problem. Hey, did you get the job? Yeah, I need to take some summer classes. <laughs> And then he's complaining because he's getting, you know, his lowest grade is in 96, and we're all like, oh, you jerk. That's why you're onto us about our grades, because you're a genius. But, you know, the fun thing about being teachers is that you can give that awesome familial relationship because we had so many different people in our family from the anal retentive people who like to keep everything scheduled and like everything just so in this fantastically organized way to the people who like to jump on trains to the paternal figures and the jerks and this and that and the other and so I feel like it's really cool that you can embrace everyone in that way so if you're ever looking to marry into the Hardage family I recommend it there's a lot of us and we are slowly taking over the world <laughs>